Hey everyone, welcome to another Dice Hate Book Club. This week I finished reading the Dark Imperium book by Guy Haley. And um, yeah, it's it's interesting. Um, for those of you not really familiar with the Warhammer 40k lore and book series, is, this is the first book that opens up the, uh, the new age of Warhammer 40,000 and came out along with the release of 8th edition, which that box is also titled Dark Imperium. Features the Ultramarines and the Primaris Ultramarines specifically, and the battles against the Death Guard Legions. And um, this kind of grounds you into the, the setting of the new like the new timeline and everything like that. So um, I'm going to give it like two reviews. One is a standalone book for people who just want to read a sci-fi book. And then obviously I'll touch on points that are more geared towards people who are familiar with the universe and like know and want to experience more of the actual uh, tabletop related side of it. Uh, as a standalone book, um, uh, in the forward, uh, it does talk about the fact that it was, uh, he writes pretty fast paced um, and they came to him with a pretty tight deadline. And I do feel that this book suffers from that. Uh, there are some really interesting plot points and um, uh, really gripping parts of the story with some really good characters. And characterization, but there's also a lot of just descriptive filler which serves no real purpose other than to bulk out the book. Um, I, I I found myself like just like skim reading pages looking for dialogue to start picking up again where I could get back into the actual gripping parts of the story, and um. <laughs> It, it was a little bit disappointing, but like the, the cause of the actual story um, were good enough that I didn't want to put it down. I wanted to get through it and get it so I could see what happened, and I, the, the teased revelations all the way through it, and like get to the points where um, Rebute uh, like opens up when you're doing the parts through his eyes. It's pretty interesting that... The, uh, this Primarch who's been dead for 10,000 years, uh, well, been in stasis for 10,000 years and is brought back to see uh, how uh, how the mighty have fallen and uh, all of that stuff. It, it's pretty... I, I really like it, but again, that's from the, the game standpoint and my love of the universe. If you're just coming into it blind, I feel like it could... It could be one that you'd, you're going to like skip through. It's obviously book one of the series as well. Um, and it definitely feels like that when you're reading it. Like you, you don't get much resolution within this book as a self-contained novel. So I will probably will pick up the, uh, the following books. I think uh, the next one's Plague War. I'm not, I'm not 100%. I haven't uh, gone and jumped on it yet. But uh, I'll definitely read that one to see where the story goes and how it all develops. And there's some interesting characterization. As, as I say, this is the first book which features the Primaris Marines. And it's quite interesting, the intricacies of how the, you have the interplay of a different um, gene stock and which chapters they originally were developed from and all working together and the different personalities. It, it's pretty... Um, not what's the word it's pretty um simplistic in how it's portrayed like the the space wolf is very uh hot tempered and savage and wants to do this stuff and the dark angel is quite introspective and secretive and you know they're all playing to the stereotypes but it it works to show that there's new bonds formed just by being a primaris marine and how all of that works um, probably the most interesting part of the book that doesn't feature the Primarch is um, with the main protagonist is probably um, a Primaris Marine called Felix, who's Gulliman's equerry, and it kind of follows his story as much as it is um, Gulliman's story, and it shows uh, a jump back in time in the uh, in the epilogue where um, he is taken from being an aspirant of the Ultramarines chapter to be developed into a Primaris Marine in instead. And that's really well done. And uh, the writing there really makes the rest of the book pale. So you've got some really, really high points, some really low points of the book where uh, it definitely suffers from uh, 
it having to be finished for, for this dead one, I feel a, a little bit more development. We could have had a really strong book here. Um, now going into my thoughts more as a fan of the universe. So this is going to be tinted more by fanboyishness. Um, I, it's definitely I re the reason I read it is because I needed to. I need. I wanted to get caught up on the current state of the forty-first millennium and how the universe sits. And uh, it's really well done. Um, a lot of things that you've thought yourself about how um, how the Ultramarines would work and like uh, Ultramar, the five hundred worlds, and the Imperium at large are all tied together. There's lots of little threads and like little nuggets just dropped in there uh, for you to like hoover up. It does make it quite a rewarding read from that sense. But again, it still feels like a, a rushed, unpolished novel. Um, scoring wise, I would probably give this um, a three out of five. Uh, I would, I wanted to give it four, but I, when I'm having to like skim read a couple of pages to try and get back into something I find interesting, I think that would be a disservice to my uh, my rating. And I'm trying to keep it, like I say, no half ratings, none of that stuff. It's not a bad book. I did enjoy it. It's definitely got that um, just pulp action y, you know, you're not going to be sitting reading through swaves of dialogue. Um, there's no real subplots to it. It's pretty, what is written is the story it's trying to tell. But there's, there's still context and uh, and deeper meaning to some of it, so I'm I'm hoping that the next book I, I had more time and it's more well developed, and we get to see more of the interactions with Gullum and the uh, the priesthood and um, the interactions between the Primaris Marines and the uh, the old fashioned Adeptus Astartes. So that'll be interesting, and yeah, that's it. Um, I unfortunately don't have uh, a copy to give away because I gave my copy to a friend for his birthday on Saturday. So, um, yeah, that that was that. Uh, so I don't have a copy of this one to give away. We'll still be doing the, um, the draw for Star Wars Allegiance that happens um, at the end of this week. So um, if you're looking for that one, I'll put it on the end card for you to go and uh, find that. But yeah, if you have read the book, let me know what you thought about it. What were your favourite pieces? Um, who was your favourite characters? Do you, are you looking forward to uh, experiencing more of the different Primaris chapters? What other books should I read to get caught up on the uh, the 40k universe and where we all sit now and how everything interacts? Especially Dark Angels ones, that's my favourite chapter. So uh, let me know what I should be reading. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, give me a like on the video if you can. And yeah, if you want to support the content even more, feel free to check out our Patreon. And I really appreciate all of you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.